So far, you have learned about different topics in Angular related to Angular components and data binding. You have even created all the components that you'll be using throughout this course. Now, it is time to start designing the app. I will start with the basics of it, which is to set up the Bootstrap library. The Bootstrap library is the library that we are going to use throughout this course to design all the pages and all the components of our app. Now, to set up Bootstrap, you can either install an npm package or you can get the Bootstrap library URLs from the CDN.js website. An npm package stands for a NuGet package manager package and is just installable code for your Angular projects or the Node-based projects in general. The CDN.js, on the other hand, is a free and open source CDN service. Throughout this course, instead of having to install an npm package, I'll be using the CDN.js. Now, on the upcoming parts, if we're going to need any additional packages, we're going to install an npm package, but for Bootstrap, I'll be using the CDN. JS. Now, before we navigate to the CDN.js, this is the app that we're going to build. In here, you can see that we have the navigation bar, we have the slider in here, then we have some cards here on the right, then down here you have the fan favorite section, and if you go inside a movie, you can see the movie details, and all these other designs that you see in here, we're going to build them from scratch using Bootstrap library. So now let us navigate to the CDN.js. And when you navigate to the cdnjs.com, you can see in here that the cdnjs per definition is a free and open source CDN service trusted by 12.5% of all websites, serving over 200 billion requests each month. Now in here, I'll just search for Bootstrap. I'll just type in here Bootstrap. And we are going to use the latest version of Bootstrap, which is this one in here, version 5.2.3. Just click in here. And if you scroll down here, you are going to see that you have multiple packages, like for example, the bootstrap.min.js. This is a, a reference that we're going to use because the JavaScript version of Bootstrap is for different functionalities related to, for example, a button click, hover effects, etc. Down here, we also have the bootstrap.min.css. This is another one that we're going to use. So let us scroll up in here now. Let us copy the first one, which is the min.js. So I'll just click the second option in here, go back to the app, and then in here I'll just go to the source folder, then index.html, and just after the href, or even after the meta tag, I'm going to paste the link. If you scroll to the left in here, you're going to see that we have now a reference to cdn.js.cloudflare.com, then ajax libs bootstrap version 5.2.3. Let us go back to cdn, go and copy the CSS one. So let's scroll down in here. And you can see that we have the 5.2.3 then slash CSS. Let us copy this other tag. Let's go back to the app the same way just down here. So we have the script. We're going now to paste the style. You can see we have a link and then we have a style sheet. And here we have the href. Now to see if this information is going to be loaded successfully, all you can do is that you can just run the app. So I'll just right click, then open in integrated terminal. And then here I'll just type ng serve. It says that the port 4200 is already in use. And that's because I was using that other app that I showed you, which is the final version. So I'll just press enter and it's going to mean yes, because Y is in capital letter and N is in lowercase. So I'll just type yes. And this is going to use another port, which means that we need to run the app on a different port other than 4200. But let's wait for the app to generate all the application bundles. I'll speed up this process and just uh, show you the, the final result. So in here you can see that the app is live and listening in port 55375. So I'll just hold the control key and then click the link. You can see that the app is in here and it's pretty basic compared to what we want to build throughout this course. So in here now I'll just press F12 or you can just right click and then go to inspect. Once you are in here, just go to Network tab, and in here, just refresh the browser. And down here, you're going to see that the bootstrap.min.js and the bootstrap.min.css were loaded successfully. Now, this is all you need on this part. On the upcoming parts, we're going to start designing our app, and we're going to start with the navigation bar.